Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today we are finally going to be reviewing two products that you guys have been asking me about for a long time and that is or they are the Color Wow Dream Filter and the Color Wow Dream Coat. This is a product that claims to remove color distorting minerals in hard water to instantly brighten and lighten your hair. Sounds very enticing. And this is a product that claims to transform all hair types into silky, glossy, frizz-free hair. I have used both of these products several times now, both together and separately, so I am finally ready to fully dive into this review. So if you've been curious about Color Wow, about either of these products, and you wanna know if they're worth the hype, you have come to the right spot, and we're gonna jump into that in a second. But before we do, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, click on that notification bell, and drop a comment below letting me know if you have heard about either of these products, if you have been wanting a review, if you've tried them out yourself. Thank you so much for doing all of those things. It really helps to support me with the YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate you so much. And as always, if you need anything from me at all, check out my description box below because I have Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, my SPF merch, timestamps for this video, links to both of these products, and links to my favorite beauty products of all time. Do I have lipstick on my teeth? It felt like it, but I think I'm good. All right, let's jump into it. All right, let's start off by talking about the Dream Filter, and I'm just gonna pull up Color Wow's website to read through what they have to say about this product, the claims, the benefits, things like that. Also, quick disclaimer, before I forget to mention, I did receive both of these for free in PR, but this video is not sponsored. Okay, let's move on. So the Dream Filter is a pre-shampoo mineral remover. It's claimed to be a detox spray that removes dulling mineral and pollutant buildup to reveal lighter, brighter, color instantly without the use of peroxide and dyes. It's supposed to be a gentle treatment that works in under three minutes and not only leaves your hair looking brighter and lighter, but also leaves it feeling and looking softer and silkier. And then as far as who this product is intended for, they say anyone who has hard water or well water, anyone who swims in chlorinated pools, blondes, people with gray hair, white natural hair, I don't, I don't know what that means. Color treated hair, hair that is looking orange, brassy, or greenish that is color treated, and hair that is feeling or looking coarse, stiff, dull, and unresponsive. So when taking a look at the ingredients in this product, I can see that it's primarily working through the use of chelating agents. And I've talked about these ingredients briefly on my channel before, but if you're not familiar with chelators, they're essentially ingredients that you'll often find in clarifying products like shampoos and rinses or anything that says detox on it, because what they do is actually grab onto minerals and things like iron, calcium, magnesium, metals that are found in hard water and then help to rinse them away when you rinse with water. And there's not really anything else worth mentioning as far as the ingredients goes for this product, but that's completely fine because that's exactly what this product is supposed to do. So it definitely does have the right type of ingredients to back up claims like that. So obviously that is great to see, but my whole experience in using it and my results are going to play a role in my opinion on this product as well. So let's talk about how to use this quickly. So they recommend applying this to dry hair before you shampoo poo, you're supposed to spray it evenly to saturate the hair thoroughly. Wait one to three minutes, then shampoo. So you guys know that it's typically a must for me to basically drench my hair in oils before I shampoo. If you want to know more about why I do that and why I always recommend doing that, I will list my latest wash day routine below, but I didn't want anything to interfere with the ability of this product to work as effectively as possible. I really wanted to give it a fair chance to work on my hair and give me the results that they're claiming here. So when I did test this out, I did forego the use of oils, even though it stressed me out a little bit and I did just spray this on my dry hair and like they said fully saturated my hair so my hair was definitely damp by the time that I was done because I do have very dense hair or thick hair, I have a lot of strands, I made sure to spray in sections so that I was spraying as evenly as possible on my hair and not missing any major areas. If I am being completely honest with myself, which I am. I don't think I've really seen any difference in my hair since I started testing this out. I've used a little over half of this bottle, so I've used a lot of product and I just haven't really seen a change in my hair. It's not lighter, it's not brighter, it's not softer or silkier. 
it's really none of the things that they're claiming, which makes me feel a little bit bad to say, I'm always gonna keep things honest with you, even if it makes me feel bad. But I think the reason why this did not make a difference for me, it didn't move the needle for me, is because I am already using a hard water filter on my shower head and I use clarifying shampoos or rinses once a week, every single week. So I already have products in my arsenal that are helping me to do all of the things that this product is basically designed to do. If you are not using a hard water filter right now, if you're not using a clarifying shampoo or rinse frequently, then this product will probably make a much bigger difference for you than it does for me. And it probably will move the needle for you because again, it does have ingredients in it that are specifically designed to remove those minerals and impurities. The only claim that I personally feel iffy about is that this is going to instantly lighten and brighten your hair after only one use basically. As somebody who gets their hair professionally bleached, I understand how enticing and intriguing claims like that are because let's be honest, being a blonde is expensive, the maintenance is insane, and it sucks to just have that color dull really quickly because of the water that you're using to wash your hair and not really being able to do anything about that. So I get the draw, but I don't think this is something that is going to make your hair instantly look like you just walked out of the salon and it's bright and light and fresh now and it's looking really dull and brassy. So that's the one claim that feels like a stretch to me. I do think something like this with repeated use could definitely help to just make your hair look a little bit lighter and brighter, but I don't think you're going to see this insane transformation and in using it one time. So let me know in the comments below if you have used this for an extended period of time, if you feel like this has made a difference in your hair color, but for me, Unfortunately, it just hasn't really done that. So it's not a product that I think is bad, but would I recommend it based on my personal experience, knowing the products that I'm already using? Probably not. Now let's move on to the dream coat. So this is, hold on, let me pull up the website again, an anti-frizz treatment. So it's supposed to offer anti-humidity protection that lasts three to four shampoos. It claims to act like a mini keratin treatment to transform all hair types into silky, glossy, frizz-free hair. And this is for anyone's hair who is affected by humidity. It's ideal for frizzy, wavy, <laughs> I was gonna say wazy, that's not a word. Frizzy, wavy, curly, or coily hair, and coarse, dry, or dehydrated hair. If you have color or a keratin-treated hair, this is still safe to use and is something that's supposed to be helpful to you. And it also says that it's great to use on wigs, extensions, and hair pieces, which I think is cool. So this product is interesting because it claims to use polymer technology and they have a little section on their website where it says lab notes. It's kind of like the scientific explanation for their product. So for this one, it says it uses groundbreaking heat-activated polymer technology. It's feather light it won't weigh down your hair and it won't leave it looking or feeling greasy. It is supposed to be activated by the use of a blow dryer while you are applying light tension on the hair. So like pulling your hair lightly with a brush, for example, while you're heating it up. That's what's supposed to activate this technology. In doing that, it's supposed to allow the dream coat to form an invisible hydrophobic matrix on the hair. You guys know I'm all about that. If you know, you know. It's supposed to compress each strand to be sleek and silky and supple. And it says that it also basically protects every strand with a light, imperceptible raincoat that repels moisture. And those benefits are right up my alley. They're very important to consider when it comes to hair care products because moisture is not good for our hair. Whether you wanna call it moisture, hydration, water, humidity, doesn't matter, it's the same thing. Not good for our hair, causes damage. So that's why I was especially excited to test this one out. So before looking into this product, I had heard of polymers in hair care before, but I didn't have an extensive understanding of how exactly they work and benefit the hair. So there are different categories or classifications of polymers, and I'm gonna list the sources below that I used as reference for this video. You guys know I have no chill. I had to dive into research, but one of those sources talks about a class of polymers called conditioning and cleansing polymers. And these are specifically designed to actually adhere to the proteins of our hair to improve manageability, improve softness, and improve smoothness. And they include ingredients like cationic conditioning polymers, 
non-ionic conditioning polymers, and silicone polymers. If you're a frequent viewer of my channel, then you've probably heard me talk about cationic polymers at least once, if not several times before. They're amazing ingredients for the hair because they're actually attracted to the negative charge of damaged hair and they resist being rinsed away so they can actually help to strengthen damaged hair. And Dream Coat does contain both cationic and silicone polymers. And silicone polymers can protect our hair as well because they actually form a lightweight film on the hair that decreases combing forces while using a comb or brush on the hair that can ultimately lead to breakage. And that is basically the number one cause of breakage, that force needed to brush through the hair or to comb through the hair. And I have an entire video talking all about that with tips and tricks on how to reduce that. So I will list that below if you would like to know more about that because it's definitely an important consideration for breakage. But on top of that, these polymers have a ton of other benefits for the hair as well. They're known for their ability to condition and detangle the hair more so than other commonly used conditioning ingredients. So they're amazing for both of those purposes. They also help to provide heat protection, improve color retention, and just make our hair look and feel silky and glossy and shiny. So overall, this product has a ton of potential and based on the ingredients, I don't think those claimed benefits are far-fetched at all. So let's talk about how to use it and my experience. So again, Color Wow says that this does require blow drying to activate, so not something to use on a day if you're going to be air drying your hair. So what you will do is shampoo, condition, and towel dry your hair. Then you will divide your hair into sections and spray liberally and evenly on damp, not wet hair. Then they say that you shouldn't apply other styling products while the hair is wet, but that you can still apply styling products after you complete your blow dry and using this. And then for best results, you're supposed to use this every three to four shampoos. So I'm gonna show you guys my hair before I tested this product out for the first time. It was perfect timing because warning my hair was a disaster. I was having issues with frizz. It was looking and feeling very unmanageable. It was tangled. I really do think that the water in this apartment is significantly worse than my apartment in Minnesota, which deeply triggers me. I didn't know it could get that much worse and I've been stressing about that to say the least, but I've definitely noticed a difference since moving here in the level of frizz that I experience and how unmanageable my hair is after I wash it. It's even tanglier. Again, I didn't know that was possible. So it was perfect timing to test this product out. Let's just say that. So I went ahead and applied as directed on damp hair, on sections, sprayed liberally and evenly, and then I went ahead and blow dried with a round brush. I don't love to round brush my hair with a blow dryer because it just feels like it's adding more damage to the process. And my hair is already pretty straight naturally, so it's just not super necessary for me, but because I really wanted to give this a fair shot, I did go ahead and do that. My first impression of this product was that my expectations were wrong. I didn't have high hopes for this. I think just based on my experience in using this, I thought it was gonna kind of fall flat. It did not. I was blown away by what this did to my hair. The level of softness, I can't even explain to you guys. That is obviously really difficult to show you on camera, like how soft something feels. But just in feeling my own hair, I was shocked by how soft it felt. It never feels that soft to the touch. That was incredible. And then on top of that, it just looked so shiny and silky and glossy, definitely more than it normally does with my typical leave-in products. In order for me to achieve that level of gloss, I need some oils or serums on my hair and I didn't have to do that here. The other thing I loved about this is that it really did help to seal in the appearance of my split ends. Yes, of course, I even have split ends at the bottom, come on. The ends of my hair have been through so much. Hard water, bleach, heat, like they're toast once they hit the end. So I was really, really excited by the fact that this just made them look sign sealed and delivered, you know? Then throughout the week, I was keeping close tabs on my hair and not only did it not look frizzy, like how it was looking when I showed you guys before, but it also wasn't getting knotted and snarly in the way that it typically does. My hair is so susceptible to tangles and I will almost always end up with like this little rat's nest at the back of my head, like on top of my neck. For some reason that area just will mat up for me. And that didn't happen at all after using this, which was so great. I would say for the first couple of weeks, my levels of frizz and tangles kind of maintained. So 
I do think that this helps long term with preventing frizz and preventing tangles, but did my hair feel as soft or look as silky and shiny as it did when I first used it? by the time that I hit week three, definitely not. So I think that when they say that this will last three to four shampoos, they're probably referring to people who wash their hair more often than once a week. Cause as you guys know, I only wash once a week. So for this to last three to four shampoos, it would need to last three to four weeks or like almost a month for me. And at that point, no product is gonna be that magical that it can last you an entire month, at least in my experience. So after that little experiment, I was fully sold. I have not stopped using this since, and I really didn't think I was going to find a new stable product for me in my hair care routine, but now I feel like I can't live without this because of the results that I saw. I'm like, if my hair can look like that, I would obviously prefer it to look like that, than not, you know, now that I know I can have that level of shine and softness, I want it all the time, especially knowing how difficult that is for me to achieve with just one other product. Again, I really need to get to work with oil, serums, things like that to achieve similar results. And even then, I still feel like this is better. So would I recommend this based on my experience, based on the ingredients, 100%. If you feel like your hair looks really dull or brittle or dry, I think that you're going to love this. If you deal with frizz in a major way, if you live somewhere that's really hot and humid, you have to test this out and get back to me because obviously I live in the Midwest, so I don't have the same kind of climate, especially year round. Or if you feel like you can just never get that really sleek, glossy blowout look that you can get at the salon easily, this is gonna be your new best friend. It's so good, I love it so much. Wow, again, it did not, did not expect this to happen, but it was love at first sight. It was. All right, you guys, that is it for this Color Wow review. Even though we had some mixed results, mixed experiences here, I still hope that this was helpful for you and I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried either of these products? Have you seen positive results in using them? Did you not love them? Are you going to test either of these out after watching this video? Let me know in the comments below and if you are interested in purchasing either of these, I will have them listed and linked below. So keep me posted either way. If you're gonna pass, let me know that as well. But thank Thank you so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend thank you so much as always for doing those things your support means the world stay tuned for my next video that will be up in a few days but until then i hope you have a great few days